It's all right. It's all right. We're here now, okay? Why'd you call it for your mommy, sweetheart? Did you have another nightmare? Is that what happened? Oh, honey, don't let them know I'm here. Mommy! You were really good just then. I really am sleepy, Mommy. You are? Okay. Well, then you go to sleep, okay? I miss you. I miss you, too. But you know what? I'm going to take you home with me very, very soon. Because I got a plan. And it starts tonight. to Boston on a fake interview that I set up for her. And that'll leave Ethan alone tonight. Then I'm gonna dress up like Gwen. Then I'm gonna drug Ethan. And then I'm gonna trick him into sleeping with me. And then after I get pregnant, I'm gonna trade that baby for my child. Yes, I'm gonna get you back, little Ethan, no matter what I have to do. What was that? I hope Little Ethan didn't hurt himself. Let's go check on him. Well, that was close. All right. Now I need to just put on the negligee that I bought. This one is exactly like the one that I saw Gwen wearing once. I certainly wouldn't be caught dead seducing a man in this, but if it'll trick Ethan into thinking that I'm Gwen, then it will be worth it. Yeah, yeah, I should be able to pass for Gwen, I think, in the dark. Finish off the champagne, it'll make my job a lot easier. Okay. This drug should make it easier to fool Ethan, too, right? Yes. Once Ethan uh, drinks his toast to Gwen. And very soon, he'll have no idea that he'll be making love to me. What if he decides that, 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 that he's not going to sleep in this bed? Or what if he decides that he doesn't want the champagne? Oh my god, my plan's going to be ruined. better be drinking your champagne. <laughs> hey, who is this? Is this Alistair? What, what, do you have cameras spying on me or something? No, I just wanted to make sure that I got my toast. Now, go get your glass, because I have some champagne here in the car, and I want us to make a toast together to our marriage. <laughs> All right, okay, fine. Let's do it. Um, to my beautiful wife and to our beautiful future together, I love you. I love you too so much, sweetheart. Clink. You will sleep with me tonight, Ethan. And the baby we make will help me get my son back. Lights and gets into bed. Until he's more groggy. Then I'll slip into bed with him. Quince perfume. I've got to put it on. 
it's risky to be out in the open, but I've got to do it. All right, I'm coming. You weren't asleep yet, I hope. <sighs> Ooh, it's been a long time. Oh, honey, I'm sorry I keep bothering you. You're not bothering me. What's wrong? You sound odd. I just had a very horrible feeling. I just got chills up my spine. <sighs> honey, you know what it is? You miss me already. That's what it is. Well, I do, but... It's more than that, sweetheart. I feel like Teresa is close to you. I feel like she is about to make another one of her crazy moves on you. And you don't think that's the least bit paranoid? I know. Honey, come to Boston with me. Honey, no, no, no. Look, listen to me. Teresa is nowhere... Or let me, she's nowhere around here, okay? And I've told you a gazillion times already, I, at the risk of repeating myself, I love you. I love you very much, and there's nothing Teresa could do to make me betray you again, okay? I really love you. I know you do. I know you do. And I'm sorry to be so pathetic and needy, honey, but I still want you to come with me to Boston. I'm sorry. And little Ethan, too. You know, I don't want to leave him alone so soon after the adoption. He needs assurance. He needs one of us to be here, you know? You could bring him, too. Honey... It's late. He's asleep. You're right. I know it's not the best idea. But it's a, it's a very sweet one. Very sweet. I'm just a little worried, that's all, you know? All right. Tell you what. Tell you what. I will, um... I'll have the door locked. I'll have it dead bolted. No matter who it is, they're not coming in. I'll even get a bodyguard just for the night. Just in case. How about that? Don't tease me. <laughs> Look, baby, nobody is here. Teresa's not here. You have nothing to worry about. You call me when you get to Boston, okay? I will. I love you very much, Ethan. I love you too. With all my heart. Look who's back. Gwen, what are you doing back? 